Hey, what is up guys? Jared here. Hey, what is up guys? Jared here. Today I'm going to show you how to pass data from one view controller to another with Swift and Xcode. Now this this concept can be applied to so many other things. This is just sort of a basic example of how to do it. And I think it's a good learning experience. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Enjoy it. Let's get started. All right, first thing we need to do is go ahead and click on Xcode and create a new Xcode project. And this is going to be a single view application, but this concept itself doesn't only apply to the single view application, you can always apply it to any other application. So just, but today we're just using the single view application. So go ahead and click next. Our product name, I'm just going to call mine passing data. And our language will be set to Swift and our devices will be set to iPhone. Now let's go ahead and create and I'm just going to make this a bit bigger for you guys. And let's go ahead and click on our main dot storyboard. And first thing we need to do is click and drag a view controller onto our scene. And also the reason I work with view controllers is just because it's sort of good for beginning and it's, it's good. It, it's an easy way to learn. And I think that's what most of you guys watching this channel are doing. You're learning. So this is the best way of doing it. All right, now let's go ahead and add a button onto our first view controller, not the one that we just created. So go ahead, add that button. And also these never compile properly. So I'm just going to go going to change the size of these to an iPhone 4.7 inch. You guys can do it however you want, but I just like having it a uniform shape. All right, so we go ahead and add your button and I'm just centering it. And let's add a label onto our second view controller. And let's get a bit fancy. And we're going to add some, add a UI text field, if I can find it. Oh, yeah, add a UI text field onto our first view controller. And now, basically, the concept of this is, is we're going to type some things inside of this UI text field. And then when we click the button, it's going to pass the data from this UI text field over to this label over here and fill out the label with the text that we put in put inside of there. All right, now let's go ahead and right click or control click and drag from this button over to and click that click and drag that over to our second view controller and say the action segue as show. You might be able to do other things, but I'm just doing show to show you guys how to do things. All right, now let's go ahead and f next thing we need to do is say f go up here and create a new file. So file new file and this is going to be a swift file and click next and we're going to save this as um, view 2 sounds like mu2 all right now we can go ahead add that up up there a little bit and first thing we want to do with view 2.swift is import our ui kit so we'll say import ui kit and basically all this is doing, it's allowing us to work with the u user interface elements that we create on our main.storyboard. So that's why uh, we're importing the UI kit inside of view 2. So anytime you want to work with UI elements inside of your main.storyboard, you import UI kit. All right, now let's go ahead and create a class. And basically all a class is, it's going to, uh, you can tell by up here on our viewcontroller.swift, it already pre-builds it for you. And basically we're creating a view controller. We're creating a certain thing that's going to be used by uh, a view controller inside of our main.storyboard. So go ahead and click on our view too. And we're just going to go ahead and fill everything in. So it's a class, and our name will be uh, view2, and then go colon, and this is going to be UI kit, I'm sorry, UI view controller. And our properties and methods, I'm just going to add our view did load. And you can just type in view did load, tab all that in, and it should fill it all out for you. And then our code, I'm not going to write anything in there right at the moment, but I will fill out stuff up here. So let's go back to our main.storyboard. And right up here, you will see an assistant editor. It looks like two little circles. And basically, this is going to allow you to open up your code side by side, your main.storyboard. So go ahead and write and click on this view controller that we have right here. And actually, we need to first do something on this main.storyboard first. So go ahead and click on 
I just closed my attributes inspector. You don't need to, but uh, that's what all I was doing. I mean, our assistant editor, what was I saying? Okay, so go ahead and click on our view controller, view two view controller that we just created, that we created earlier. And we're going to change this um, and go into our identity inspector tab right over here in the top right corner. And we're going to change the class of this to view two or L, or the class that we just created. So now anything inside of this view two class will automatically edit our main dot storyboard. All right, now go ahead and now we can open up the assistant editor and click on this right here. And if you're like me and it's not giving you the exact thing right, uh, just go ahead and you know click on this and re-click on it again and hopefully it gives you the uh, right code after a while. And if it doesn't, go ahead and go up here and it should give you a manual setup. So go manual, passing data, passing data, and then click on view2.swift. And then you can find these files for yourself. Okay. Now go ahead and right click or control click and drag from our label and insert an outlet over to our view two. And we're just gonna name this label and connect. And now we wanna create another variable and this variable will just be the text, uh, it will be a string. And basically all a string is it, it, it holds text. So basically this string will hold the text that's going to fill out our label and we're going to edit the string via uh, this UI text field right over here. So go ahead and say var uh, label text equals string and then open parentheses, close parentheses, like so. All right, and we can close this assistant editor right now. Actually, we, want, we don't want to do that. Go ahead and click on our main.storyboard. And now we want to click on this view controller right over here. And we want to edit it, edit this view controller inside of our assistant editor. And now we're going to click and drag from our button. Actually, we need a. For some reason, this whole ma automatic thing's not working for me. OK, here we are. Now go ahead and right click and drag from our button. Actually, we don't want the button. We we'll right click and drag from our UI text field and just right or control click and drag from that to our viewcontroller.swift file and make sure it's not your view too or else it won't work, but your viewcontroller.swift file. And now we're going to call the name of this uh, text field and connect. And make sure it was set to outlet, not action. Okay, now let's go ahead and now we want to add, we can go ahead and close this assistant editor up and go to our viewcontroller.swift now. And now right down here, we want to say prepare for segue. And you tab all that in, or you can type in override func and then prepare for segue, segue UI, storyboard, segue sender, any object. Uh, that Basically all this is saying when you all this is all this prepare for segue is is pretty self-explanatory right before the segue happens it's going to prepare any code that needs to be done right before it segues so now uh, let's add some code inside of this so first thing we need to do is actually describe our destination view controller like where where are we going uh, we're going to our view con view two dot swift so we need to specify that we are going to view two dot swift so go ahead and add a variable so say var dest view controller colon ui sorry we want to say view two equals segue dot destination view controller as view two. So basically, all this is doing we're creating a variable with uh, with a class of view two. And and then we're going to trans. This segue is going to go to view two. So now anything we're just renaming this destination view controller to hold everything that view two would hold. So I hope I explained that properly. But basically, we're just 
taking all the elements from view two and we're giving that to a variable called destination view controller. So now destination view controller is going to hold uh, what we have over here, which is our variable label text or our variable label right there. And also I forgot to do something in our view two dot Swift. First thing we need to do is uh, just go into your view did load and we want to say label dot label dot text equals label text. So basically the text of this label equals the string of this label. All right, now of that label text. All right, now go back to our view controller dot Swift. And now we want to say destination view controller dot label text or the string. And you could also do a label dot text and that would work too but I like working with strings better as it's easier to change things later on so just say destination view controller dot label text equals and we want to say text field dot text so basically what this is doing it's taking our text field dot text or anything that's typed inside of our text our UI text field and it's grabbing that and giving it to our label text. And now our label text is going to hold any text that was t typed into our text field. So we can go ahead and build and run this and see what see if it works. So now we have this. Let's type in a few things and click the button. And our, t our label wasn't big enough, so let's go ahead and fix that and go to our main.storyboard click on our label and I'm just gonna make that a bit bigger and then we can center it and go to our attributes inspector and go over here in our alignment we go on to change that to centered and now let's go ahead build and run that and as you can see now it works so we can say hello world click the button and now it shows it up there and we can run that again just say any random thing and button and as you can see it changes according to whatever was ever typed in your UI text field so I goes I hope you guys enjoyed this video you can apply this concept to so many other things it doesn't just need to be a label it can be passing an image to another image or an array such as if you're working with a, a table view you can click on a specific you can click on a button and it loads a certain array inside of a table view there's many many possibilities that you can do with this and all it really depends on is whatever you put inside of your prepare for segue so once you work with your prepare for segue everything is going to be working out fine and you can pass data between one view controller and the next Anyway guys, that's it for this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button down below. If you guys want to see more tutorials like this in the future from me, be sure to subscribe. If you guys have any comments or questions or suggestions that you could that I could improve upon or if you guys have any, you know, questions about how uh, why I did things or how I did things, I I'm trying to get better at uh, the way I do tutorials. Uh, sorry, I haven't done any in a month. I'm trying to uh, school's been killer for me. More videos coming soon. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one. It is 11 o'clock at night. I'm not feeling too good. I have to get up at 5.30 in the morning for school. And it's freezing in this house. If this isn't dedication, I don't know what it is. <laughs>